So today I uh, just wanted to show something. <clears throat> I got it on right now and uh, we're pulsing this one and the output of that one is going into this primary and then comes through that primary and goes through a capacitance here into this little spark gap to ground. So basically this coil is just doing like a little loop with this one. Um, I'm not sure what the total effect of this thing is doing, but we can see that in here. Uh, oh, hold on. There we go. So in here we have um, high voltage. All right, that's cool. But what's really interesting is, so I have my amp meter hooked up backwards, so it says it's pulling negative volts, right? <clears throat> so, or negative amps. And uh, so it's sitting about 590, 600 milliamps, right? And um, what's cool is uh, I've been playing with this spark gap. And there's something that's neat about spark gaps, and Tesla used it. So... Uh, What I've got here is so yeah, 0 0.6, right? And here's a spark gap. Uh, this is just some water, some distilled water. And I'm gonna put this in between the spark gap. I don't know if you can see that very well. But now look, watch this. So our amps. I don't know if you can see the spark at the same time. But when we add water and we get a spark, our amp draw goes down and it goes positive. Which essentially means that we are... I'm not really sure. I have no idea what that means, to be honest with you. But I thought it was cool. So... I'm not sure if this means that if I were using a battery that it would charge the battery because that makes no sense but there's some type of effect going on when we get a spark oh there we go see that's there's no way that's right there's no way that five six amps are going backwards because there's a spark. So, I don't know what that means. But, as the spark goes away, when there's no water, this is a pretty good run. But as the water slowly goes away and it stops sparking, we return back to our regular amp draw, which is about negative 600 milliamps. But the spark definitely does something. I'm not sure what, but wow, this is, this is doing great. So I don't know if I'm going to keep blowing stuff up, but that's what keeps happening. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. This thing's not actually that hot. There's no way that it was taking in 10 amps or 9 amps or whatever that thing said. So, cool. Thanks.